y'all what's up what's popping it's audria and i'm back in today's video i just kind of want to talk to you guys about confidence in rocking your locks and to stop using the word dreads okay let's just get right into this okay because i'm just feeling some kind of way so let me just give you a little backstory. i was first of all can we get a little appreciation for this bun girl <laughs> I finally got a bun. Um, if you've been with me since 2018, you will know that I started out with a TWA and she was short. And now I have a bun, so. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm a mess. So anyway, back to the dreads. All right, so this kind of, it didn't strike a nerve. Like I didn't, I didn't get really upset, but it just had my wheels kind of spinning a little bit. All right, so. I worked PRN in the hospital. I was sitting at the nursing station. My coworkers was like telling me a story. And she was like, and I was like, oh yeah, the girl with the dreads. And I was like, it just threw me for a look because usually I'm the girl with the freckles. So it kind of had my wheels kind of spinning a little bit because it took me back to a conversation that I had with my husband when I was going to start my lock journey. We were just talking and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna start me some dreads. And he was like, you know, do you know the history of the word? And I'm like, no, but they cute and I wanna start some. And he was like, well, you just say locks. And I was like, okay, cause my husband, he know everything. He done read every book y'all. Like if you know him, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so he was like, you know, in European culture, black hair is dreadful to look at. So that's where the word originated from, dreads. So I was like, oh, so you mean to tell me 34 years, what, 30 at this time was like, what, 33? 33 years of my life, <laughs> I've been calling them dreads and not really understanding the background of the word. So I do not have dreads, you guys. I have locks. And the type of locks that I have are sister locks. The reason my wheels are spinning is because I remember, y'all, it's raining, it's thundering, it's storming, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I remember when I was a freshman in college and I had this history teacher and I can't, I think her name was Miss Johnson. Like I don't even really remember, but I just remember she had so much confidence. But anyway, um, she would talk about words and where they originate from and everything. So we just happened, I don't know if it was in a lesson or a conversation that we were having in class or whatever, but I remember her telling us, you know, you call each other wenches, like winch or whatever. And she was like, the background of the word is a derogatory term for a young lady who basically would be called to slave master's bed or considered a bed wench. So <clears throat> she would tell us, don't be running around calling your friends wenches because that is a derogatory term. And I was like, damn. You know how that light bulb just come on? So anyway, I just wanted to kind of educate you guys. If you are watching this video and <clears throat> you came to my channel because maybe you found me on Instagram, you like my hair, you like what I got going on. Don't call people's locks dreads because some people will take it there with you and some people just may be like, eh. and then, you know, some people may be genuinely offended. So just call them locks, period. Okay, so moving along, um, back to confidence and you know, just having confidence. I can really credit my parents for the amount of confidence that I have. Even though my parents instilled in me to have a lot of confidence, they always let me know that I was beautiful, you know, that I was smart, and you know, I, I, I got that from home. So, you know, I grew up with that. But I also grew up in a space, and when I say a space, I mean, you know, the school I went to and all of that, um, where you know, you couldn't, you couldn't be all of that. Like if you thought you was all of that, that was a bad thing. So I did feel like, okay, well, let me, let me dim it down. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. or <laughs> Maybe I'm not as beautiful as I think I am, which is crazy as hell, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. It wasn't until I made it to college and um, I got around other girls who thought they was all of that and, and it was okay. So I just want to share with y'all be all of that, okay? If you wanna cut your hair off 
and you want to rock a mohawk or if you want to rock a fade, low fade, like y'all, I done had every single hairstyle <laughs> in the book. And um, it's just like whatever I do, I have support from my family and friends. I don't know if it's the the friends, I ain't gonna, hold up. Let me, let me roll back. I ain't gonna say family, cause I do have some colorist ass people in my family, but I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna call their ass out, but my friends, my inner circle, people I F with, they're so supportive of anything that I do. Whether it's hair, you know, I'm losing weight or I'm, they don't care. Like they just wanna genuinely see me doing well, thriving, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, so I would just say, get you, like having confidence is in your circle too. So you need to build a circle who think like you, they about getting a bag. If you about getting your bag, your friends need to be about getting a bag. If you about um, living a healthy whole lifestyle, then your friends need to be about that because the reality is that the people that you have in your space influence how you feel and all of that. I mean, this is just really just one-on-one. -on -one. Like, y'all probably already know all of this, but just in case you don't, work on your circle. Just do it, you guys. Like. I know, this, I know that you guys probably come to my channel for my hair and that's it, but if you like doing makeup and makeup is what you wanna do, you're not as good as you know some of the people that you see on YouTube or Instagram, keep doing it. Keep practicing, watch as many videos <laughs> as possible so you gonna get that cat eye girl, you, you gonna get it. I don't know where I was going with that, but you can literally do whatever you wanna do. You get it in your head and you focus and you can do it period so i'm going to wrap up this video because i feel like i'm kind of rambling a little bit but what i hope you take away from this video is that to be confident you have to start with you number one you have to change your circle change your environment if it's negative if it's positive keep building on that and just do you boo and that's it I hope that y'all did take something away from this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next one.